TX1 offers a variety of forensic imaging options, as well as the capability to clone storage devices. Let's get started on a single disk imaging job. For this demo, we will use one source and one destination disk. For the destination, we are using the TX1 S1 drive enclosure. Before we image, let's view and adjust the imaging defaults. In this instance, we'll adjust the output file format and the number of error retries. To review source or destination drive details, select the appropriate tab along the lower menu. The drive details will be displayed. We can see that this drive has a 224GB DCO region. In this example, we'll retain the DCO to shorten the imaging demonstration times. The destination drive details are also available for display. To start a forensic duplication, tap on the duplicate icon. This displays the duplication job stepper startup page. Select the source drive to be imaged, then select the destination drive. Tap on Job Notes, Source, Destination, or Common Settings to view and change any of the default job information if necessary. Once the settings are as required, we begin the duplication by tapping Start Duplication on the lower menu bar of the Job Setup screen. This takes us directly to the Job Status screen. This screen allows us to monitor job progress. The Job Status screen will display 100% when this job is complete and audio tone also sounds job completion. Tap on View Log to view the log for this imaging job. Tapping on the View Job link in the lower left-hand portion of the screen returns the display to the Job Status screen. Closing the Job Status screen takes us to the Job Activity tab. This shows all remaining active jobs along with a recent history of TX1 jobs. Selecting any of the recent jobs will display the details of that individual job. Selecting the home icon returns us to the TX1 home page. As noted earlier, the defaults for this TX1 are set to make forensic images of source drives. This is commonly referred to as disk to file imaging. There are times when cloning a drive is required. Cloning produces an exact copy of the source drive. It may be referred to as disk-to-disk -disk imaging. To clone a drive, tap on the duplicate icon to enter the job setup screen. Select the destination drive to access the job type. This screen allows the job type to be switched from image to clone. In this example, we will not apply a DCO to the destination drive. The green highlighted check mark shows that this drive is selected. Tap the Start Duplication button on the lower menu to begin cloning the source drive to the destination. The Job Status screen will appear. If you need to make multiple copies of a suspect drive or image multiple storage devices simultaneously, TX1 can handle it. Here, we'll demonstrate making two forensic images from the same source drive simultaneously. From the home page, select the duplicate icon. Since there's only one source drive connected, TX1 assumes that is the drive to be imaged. There are two destination drive options. Select and add the first drive. Then add the second drive. It's shown directly below the first drive that was selected. In this example, one job is set to disk to file or image and the second job is set to disk to disk or clone. From the job setup screen, tap the start duplication button to begin the one to two imaging job. If you need to cancel a job, that's straightforward as well. We just tap cancel under the active jobs. Answer yes to complete. All activities are logged for posterity. TX1 supports simultaneous imaging or cloning of one or multiple drives. Jobs can also be queued for sequential processing as needed. The basic steps outlined in this video are used to create jobs for any number of drive combinations supported by TX1.